Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. So today it's a pretty exciting day because today is Thursday and it is the day where Makutoma happens. If you guys don't know, um, there is a Macross broadcast every week. Um, alternating between Macross Gatomaranai and Macross Modelers. So usually on Macross uh, uh, Macross Gatomaranai or Makutoma for short, um, they usually introduce brand new information regarding the Macross franchise. And today's episode is actually um, welcoming back a very long time <laughs> um, guest on Makutoma, which is. Fukuyama Yoshiki. So if you don't know who he is, he's actually the singing voice of Basara. And yes, even though his popularity and charisma is the charm of the Macross 7 universe, <laughs> he is the embodiment of Basara, to be honest. Except that, you know, Basara is all moody emo <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. But Yoshiki is lively, friendly, and all hell of a round uh, nice guy. Uh, and skillful with the guitar and of course vocals uh, you know because he's just that awesome anyway <laughs> aside from him appearing on the show um, it seems that we might be getting more information on the Macross Delta movie and the short clip of the Macross Frontier movie as well because you know they're all bundled together you have to watch the macross delta movie to see the frontier short clip so anyways um yeah it seems like today they'll be releasing even more new information so look forward to that info on my um facebook page links in the description down below and maybe i will update my instagram page as well um so yeah, make sure you guys follow me on both accounts, uh, the Facebook page and the Instagram page. So before we begin today's main gacha topic, I have to talk about what happened on the 1st of June. It is just amazing. So I'm sure by now you guys are watching a short clip um, that I recorded of me doing that pool. So yeah, I've, I've actually used the 10 ticket that was given to um, the, the players who have renew or bought the subscription to the special pass or previously known as the Utamaku pass so yeah I wasn't really expecting much from this pool because um, <laughs> it has never given me good results and I was totally surprised I was really not expecting it and we ended up with what you saw on the screen so or are going to see. I don't know how far into the video <laughs> you guys have gone into, but it's just amazing. I have never gotten such a pool before. Um, you know, getting two six star episode plates that are brand new <laughs> together in a single pool. How it will never happen again. I mean, it's I've been playing this game for coming four to five years now and this is the first time it has ever happened I mean I've seen people who have pulled out like three copies of six stars or maybe even four copies depending how lucky you can be but still this is the first experience for myself so uh, let's see if the luck is still there for Kana Mama. I don't know I don't know if we will ever get um, her featured episode played but I would love to unlock her costume um, you know, considering that it is the debut of Valkyrie's costume. And yeah, I'm still praying that Claire will be added to the game somehow or other in the future. Because, uh, you know, it won't be complete without Claire Senpai in that live performance. Uh, so yeah. Alright, let's, let's break down Kaname's new episode plate and see how it fares. Alright, so 3,871 total score, well-balanced stats all around, featuring a bit more on charm and of course soul. So, with that said, I'm sure you guys know what you need to do to set up your divas for this current event if you plan to go for high score achievements. And of course, pay attention to the three other girls, you know, ladies, who are able to use this episode play. Of course, Makina is one of them because Makina is one of the first um, few Valkyrie members as well, along with Rei Rei. So, 
So yeah, hopefully Reina and Makina will eventually get this costume as well. I don't think Mikumo and Freya will get it because they were not around during this time period. Um, so that's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, Alright, center skill. So the live series songs, um, when unit um, is performing in them, total will be increased by 35%. So it's, it's a meh, pretty meh center skill. Um, definitely not you know, advisable to use this in a center position episode plate. So moving along. Active skill. Well, it's uh, the new version of the 6 star, so for 5 seconds, you're some, you get your score boost in 70% up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Live skill, mode score up. So, Cho U after... No, wait. It says here... Oh, at the beginning. At the beginning of Cho Uta Hime mode, um, if you score good or below, and of course, perfect and above, um, score is boosted by 110% up, which is pretty good, especially if you're trying to be your own personal high score. So yeah. Okay. Oh. So sadly to say, Kaname's new episode plate does not come with a special note attachment to it, but the life skill is pretty decent. Um, of course, usually when you do set up your divas, you only need one copy of such episode plate. Um, there's really no need to have multiple because it doesn't really stack. You know, so... Do you really need this episode plate? Well, technically, if you don't have anything like this yet, especially if it's from this series element type of song style, you know, it's definitely good to have at least one copy on hand of each elemental type. So yeah, uh, Kaname fans, you know what to do. You guys definitely want your waifu's episode plate. I mean, the, the previous Evolve illustration is pretty lovely. You get to see young Kaname. <laughs> um, <coughs> so yeah, that's pretty nice. Alright, so let's do the usual thing, the single free pool first. And of course, if the luck is horrible, we'll try and push out the good luck with uh, other free gachas that I currently have on hand. Here we go. Ooh, so it's following the horrible luck trend. Um, with Freya's 6 star episode plate pool. Well, at least... Not the one that I had double six stars. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, it's pretty rare common plate, so don't don't give up hope too yet uh, too soon. All right. So if you're wondering why I'm rushing through this gacha video, it's because I'm actually recording this thirty minutes before my work starts. <laughs> I need to do this as quickly as possible so I don't get to work late. Okay. Uh, yeah, by the time you watch this video, it's probably after my work. Because, yeah, I don't have the time to edit and upload it. So. Alright. Okay, so this is a pretty common episode plate. So, it's kind of risky to pull the discounted template pool now. So, we're going to go ahead and use the... Um, Super Dimension or Chojikyu Gacha tickets right now just to push the luck out. Alright, here we go. So 10 plates from this. It is possible to pull out 6 star episode plates from this Gacha. So just be mindful. We do get a pretty mediocre load speed right there. So something good might actually appear. Hopefully not too good. Okay, so we get the average 3 Valkyrie animation. Alright, no red boxes on the first bling. There we go. So, the luck isn't exactly fantastic since we only end up with a single red box. Okay. I don't think the red box will evolve though. There we go. Yep, no evolution right there. So, it seems like the Gacha pool I did on the 1st of June has really drained the luck. Hmm. Okay, should we do another template for this one? Hmm. Let me check the expiration dates on the ticket. Then we'll base off that. Okay, let's see. So the next ticket expires at the end of this month. Hmm. Ah, let's keep it. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, we do have the guaranteed gacha tickets too. When is this expiring? Oh, that's actually pretty soon. 
Well, I can technically save it for the next gacha video, you know, but if this pool turns out horrible, then maybe we shall just do a guaranteed 5 star. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna do a single template pool for Kaname's gacha. Uh, I'm not aiming to try and attain her episode plate. I do want costume points as usual, just to unlock the costume. Uh, aside from that, anything else is just pretty much a bonus. So let's go. Gonna get save up the singing stones for Ranka's bright costume. So yeah, <laughs> and Makina's too. Definitely want to have a video recording of Makina and Rei Rei in their wedding gowns. All right. Okay, two red boxes on the first bling. Ooh, lots of red boxes. So hopefully that gives us costume points. Okay, so it's not Kaname's episode plate. Ooh, another one. Okay, I don't think this one is related to Kaname. Oh, there it is! Yes, I'm happy. Oh, lots of Kaname love. Even more Kaname love. <laughs> Ooh, saucy. Okay, so it seems like all the red boxes are not planning to evolve. Yeah... If I didn't have this Hikaru episode play before, it's fully evolved now. <laughs> uh, so well-balanced amount of red plates uh, between girls and guys, so that's pretty nice. So we do get one episode plate for costume points, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so it seems like the luck is totally drained from the gacha pool on the first of June. <laughs> uh, hopefully, the luck replenishes by Ranka's gacha, I'm just hoping. So let's go ahead and, you know, do the 5 star guarantee gacha pool. Uh, it seems like it was intended to be this way. <laughs> okay, so one single pool. Hopefully we get something nice, maybe an episode play with a special note attachment. Let's see what we can always hope for. So we get the 5 Valkyrie animations, but no golden orb. Alright, rainbow box off the bat. Hmm. Does that mean the luck would have actually been good now? Ooh. It's a pretty nice Melanes play. Oh, is it gonna you all? Yay! Okay, that's pretty good progression. Alright, let's take a look at the plate itself. Combo bonus life skill. Yeah, not too bad. And it's a pink episode plate, so it's usable for this current event. So not too bad in overall progression. We did fully evolve a bread, uh, well, uh, an, a 5 star episode plate that I've yet to evolve. We gain Kaname's costume points so we can unlock it through episode offs um, if need be, eventually. Um, so yeah, pretty overall good decent pool. Well, you know, considering the luck that we used up on the 1st of June. So guys, what do you guys get for your own personal pools? I know some of you have already attained Kaname's featured episode plates. Um, but then there's that issue of not having enough materials to fully power it up. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it means that you guys need to play more. Because if you're low on resources, it really means that you haven't been playing a lot. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys get in your own personal pools. And of course, what do you guys think um, about Kaname's episode plate itself? Uh, do you need it? You know, that kind of stuff. And of course, talk to me. Uh, anything. That's my cross-related anime, otaku stuff, you know, whatever I share on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta My Cross video after you've like, liked, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye! Gotta go to work now. <laughs>